Hello everyone, good evening. Welcome to Copenhagen Fashion Week digital edition of the Autumn Winter 21 collection. My name is Simone Sneakers. I'm fashion editor of Harper's Bazaar Netherlands. Normally I would be in a beautiful city, Copenhagen right now, watching all the shows. But unfortunately I'm from home reporting the shows uh, in Amsterdam, my hometown. Um, tonight with me, uh, I have Anne from Designers Nest. Well, I'll be asking some questions. Hello, Anne, welcome. Hey, Thank Hi, you. how are you? I'm so incredibly happy and proud and relieved and just, yeah, full of happiness right now. <laughs> I, I can imagine. I watched the show. It's like an explosion of creativity and of uh, inspiration. Yeah, yeah. It, it looks really... I think, uh, you're, I really think you're right. <laughs> yeah. So um, I had so many questions for you, but unfortunately, I only can uh, ask you three of them. So uh, mm. let me just start right away. So the first one is, um, so young designers nowadays um, cannot ignore the big importance of produce in a sustainable way. And I was wondering mm. um, if it's still a big challenge for them. Well, yes, absolutely. But I think what is so striking and, and um, noticeable about this, the new emerging designers is that they are so incredibly aware. They are actually already trying to produce sustainably on a smaller scale, that is. Um, and, but more importantly, I think sustainability for these new designers is not something that is uh, um, an obstacle, something that is added on. It's actually something that is used as creative fuel. So um, I, I think this new generation of designers that we're seeing now is actually incorporating sustainable practices into their work uh, without losing sight of creativity. Yeah, okay, that's nice. Um, and of course, like the sustainability, it's such a big uh, subject um, throughout the whole Fashion Week, which I find super interesting and also which is uh, Copenhagen Fashion Week so important as an example for all the other Fashion Weeks. Um, so, of course, one of your um, your main uh, tasks uh, at Designers Nest is to scout new talent. And I'm wondering, mm. what is it what you look for in a new designer? Mm. We don't scout as much as people uh, apply um, and there's a pre-selection panel and then a jury assessing the, the finalist works. Mm -hmm. But we select our finalists on based on their creativity, based on their design skills, their originality, uh, sense of craft, and also their concept, their collection concept and, and coherence. Um, but in addition to that, and perhaps added to, or in relation to what you were just saying, is that our designers should also, with their work, address wider um, societal topics such as sustainability, inclusivity, diversity and, and other um, um, important issues. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I saw, of course, I, I saw the show and there's still, I think I have to watch it again after this interview too. <laughs> Me too. Have, have, yeah, I, I want to watch it again to have a, a, a bigger understanding of, you know, of, of what I've seen and also, of course, to hear all the stories from the from the designers. I'm super curious to hear it. And uh, I can imagine there must be so many um, act, like topics uh, nowadays, like uh, what you t had the COVID-19, Black Lives Matter. I think maybe all of those uh, topics have, have been a, a big influence for them. So uh, I saw also some beautiful uh, cultural experiences, uh, inspiration. So no, I'm, I'm very uh, excited to uh, learn more about their collections. And, mm -hmm. and so more talking about you. So if you would be a young designer yourself, would you create a collection about creativity, expression and statement, or would you more choose for uh, sustainability, uh, timelessness and uh, like, garments that are like wearable i don't think it should be a question of choosing between the two to be honest i think it those are they should go hand in hand sustainability shouldn't 
and mustn't sidestep the joy of fashion and creativity. And mm -hmm. this is already, as I said in the beginning, happening in, in with the new generation of designers. So if I were a, a, a new um, a emerging designer, I would definitely, you know, uh, do an integrated approach to fashion, uh, and that's what we're already seeing with designers from Designers Nest that they that they merge creativity, expression, creativity with with um, wider is issues such as sustainability and 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 a more sort of a responsible approach to to design. Okay. Um, yeah, no, I, I, I totally agree with you that like both worlds can really uh, find each other and uh, to mm. create like the, like the best of both worlds. Um, yeah. So, and um, what is for like the future, do you think, what will be the most important thing, the most important influence that, that, the, that the future of fashion will have uh on the designers that's a big question and nobody really knows what the future holds i think it's important that the change that the fashion is finding a limbo right now and i think mm. that that open up vast um um you know uh possibilities so i think that really right now the future should be about uh you know um maintaining the uh the change uh, the systemic change, the more responsible approach to fashion, uh, the whole idea perhaps also, and that's something that's important to me, that the industry understands how important it is to really support emerging designers. I, that's something that is sort of perhaps a more local um, Scandinavian uh, wish of mine. Uh, and I think that's something I think we're beginning to see a lot more here in the Scandinavian countries as well. Mm -hmm. No, it's it's uh, it's it's incredible to see how big the influence is from Scandinavian fashion brands, uh, not only in the Netherlands but also in Europe and in in the US. Um, I think um, you're doing a very good job, and uh, like what you're doing is like you're scouting the talent. So it's a very beginning of uh, of like, of had a talent that can grow into the bigger uh, fashion houses and the brands. So no, it's uh, beautiful to see, and um, um, uh, I can't wait for the future of fashion. Like some people say, it's it's part of like this escapism to you know to in the world where we're living right now that that fashion maybe is not that relevant anymore. But I think it's still very relevant, and I hope we can continue on expressing ourselves. And um, and I think like. Designer's Nest is a perfect way of uh, of get some more inspiration for that. So um, yeah, thank you I so want to thank you so much. I want to thank you so much, uh, Anna. Um, uh, I hope everybody everybody will uh, enjoy Copenhagen Fashion Week, the digital edition. Uh, there's two more days left, and uh, I wish you all a wonderful evening. And um, see you soon in Copenhagen again. I hope. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.